elected, very delighted to be part of the groundbreaking ceremony of the official commencement of works on the project for the improvement of the Ghanaian International Trade Corridors, the great separation of the Tema intersection. We all know how important Tema is. And this is an industrial city with a major port that serves this country as well as our landlocked neighbors. There is no doubt that the Tema, Moto, Tema and the motorway have played prominent roles in Ghana's post-independence development agenda and provided the blueprint for the architecture of this country. Tema, with its finest harbor and Ghana's industrial hub, was the most organized city where every house was numbered in their communities. Today, the Tema motorway is the busiest stretch of highway in Ghana and one of the most important roads in the West African sub-region. And the records show that about 35,000 cars pay tolls daily, generating some 40,000 Ghana CDs, or nearly 14.5 million Ghana CDs annually. The motorway forms an integral part of the Trans-Africa Highway, stretching from Lagos through Lome, Accra, Abidjan to Dakar. The motorway roundabout therefore serves as the junction to the sub-region. My participation in this ceremony underlies the importance that the President Nanado Danko Akufuado and the government attaches to the development of the road infrastructure and overall national development. Good roads are undoubtedly a prerequisite for rapid socioeconomic development of any economy and any community. If you want to transform agriculture, industry, or your port services, you need good road linkages. And in line with the government's agenda of enhanced national development, the goal is to ensure that as much as possible, every community is provided with the necessary road infrastructure to facilitate the development of goals, developmental goals and social aspirations of our people. We will not be able to do so for every community at the same time, but it's important to let you know that is, this is where we wish to go in order to accelerate our development. The Minister for Rules has already made the point that this is just the beginning of many roads that we will be commissioning. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Minister for Roads and his team, the Minister Honorable Amuakwata, the Minister, his Deputy Ministers, Honorable Kabo and Honorable Adumi. They are doing a fantastic job, and let us give them a round of applause. I have had cause to interact with them and also the professionals in the ministry from highways to urban roads to feeder roads. I've even had occasion to bump into them. I'll pay them some surprise visits whilst they've been seriously engaged in negotiations on behalf of our country for various roads. And they just saw me appear there to, to give them some encouragement. And I can say that Ghana is blessed with a very professional team at the ministry. We will see, by the grace of God, major road projects um, being outdoored later this, this year and going forward. We have seen many appreciable improvements um, over the years, um, but I would like to focus on road safety today. Ladies and gentlemen, good roads can be life-saving, but all too often we realize that improvements in the quality of our roads can also lead to the unfortunate phenomenon of overspeeding and the increased frequency and severity in vehicular accidents, often with tragic outcomes. Precious lives are being lost, 
and people are badly injured through reckless and irresponsible behavior of some drivers who quite sadly forget that a car is just a machine. While all the necessary safeguards can and have been put in place on the roads, one factor which cannot be pre-programmed is human behavior. Government can build all the roads, but road safety also depends critically on driver behavior, obeying traffic rules and vehicle maintenance. Regrettably, more and more more and more, the quality of driving appears to be declining. This is contributing to the carnage on our roads. Ghanaians are becoming impatient in front of their steering wheels. And we don't yield even, to, uh, to yield even in traffic circles. There's a reckless use of high beams while driving at night. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, when I break the grounds to mark the commencement of the construction of the road project for the improvement of the Ghana International Corridors, I also do so with a deep sense of gratitude to the government of Japan and JICA and all who have contributed in diverse ways to make this project possible. The government and the people of Ghana, you can clap for them. You can clap for, for Japan and JICA. The government and the people of Ghana will be forever grateful for the, to the people of Japan for their support, not just on this project, but on others such as rehabilitation of the 60 kilometer Amiyan Kwantaya Moransa Trunk Road and the cost of the detailed design for the rehabilitation of the 31.2 kilometers of Fosu Asim Prasu Road and the dualization of the 1.2 kilometer section in the center of the urbanized area of Asim Fosu Township. I wish to take this opportunity to also express the gratitude of the government and people of Ghana to our development partners for their continued support in diverse ways to facilitate our development efforts. The minister talked about indiscipline on the Tema Highway and unauthorized structures being put in place. Uh, being an action man, he's giving them two months to uh, vacate these areas. In my opinion, the two months is too long. If someone is breaking the law, you better get them out of it as quickly as possible. So maybe you should revise those two months maybe to two weeks, and we can see action very quickly. I want to thank you all for your attention. God bless you. God bless our homeland, Ghana, and God bless the relations between Ghana and Japan. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum.